This is Hlanfa Pwilquin Gilchogariquin Drobalanti Siliogogogoch, the longest place name in the UK. And it took me two weeks to learn that. And that's what word nerds do. We learn long words because it's interesting. We learn that, okay, the longest word technically in the English language is about 100,000 characters long, but it's the name of a compound, so it doesn't really count. We learn that the longest word in any major dictionary is pneumonal ultramicroscopic silicovolcano coniosis, but that doesn't really count because it's technical. So then we learn that the longest non-technical word in any major dictionary is flocky knocking the but that doesn't really count because it was coined, because it was intended to be a long word. It means being meaningless, which is kind of ironic, deliberately. Uh, so then we learn that the longest non-technical, non-coined word in the English language is anti-disestablishmentarianism. But that doesn't really come up in everyday speech. Language doesn't generally support, at least the English language doesn't generally support, long words. Because they're inconvenient, because they're unwieldy, because they slow everyone down. I mean, we shortened internet to net, for crying out loud, because three syllables was too much. This? This isn't a real place name, this isn't what anyone calls this place, it was a publicity stunt from Victorian times. Even years later, here I am, reciting that name to you, because it's now a tourist destination. Long words are there because they're interesting, not because anyone actually uses them in speech. The longest word I use, internationalization, which is a term in technology. That is an unhelpful 20 characters long, and that's long enough that it gets abbreviated to I-18N when it gets written down. Not really impressive, not difficult to say, not something you need to memorize, but that's how language works. If it's inconvenient, we shorten it. This could never have arisen by anything other than a publicity stunt, something you might not have known.